Finisher Flux, another member of the Finisher series by UJAM. Like the other plugins, the user interface is pretty simple. We have very few controls, but behind the scenes, a lot of things going on. So let's get to know Finisher Flux and I'll show you how it works on one of my projects. Finisher Flux user interface is pretty simple, as I said, and on the top here we have the browser for the presets. We have lots of presets to choose from, and they are arranged in categories. We have introduction, default, chords, arpeggios, rhythmic, and solo. We can also save and save as presets, and on the right here we have a menu, and we can visit the product site, we can contact support, read the user manual, and license. Now we can also minimize and maximize the user interface, which we can also do on the right here, on the bottom right. So it's a resizable user interface. Now like other members of the Finisher series, the core of this plugin is the modes. So if you click this title here, you'll see that we have four different categories. We have chords, arpeggios, rhythmic, and solo. And for each one, we have different modes. If you select the mode, you'll see different assignments to the variation knobs and sometimes to the finisher big knob in the middle here. We also have some notes here which will give us a hint on what is this mode all about. So let's just click through some of them and you'll see that for example the uh, this uh, strings them, we get shine, um, extra shine, fin the, the, the finisher is just uh, uh, wet dry control here and so on we have extra extra shine and shape now you'll see that the shape is always there the shape is a sort of a filter and when you push it to the left you'll get sort of a, a boost in the mid-range and if you go to the right you'll get more of a smiley face uh, kind of filter or EQ. So uh, that will stay constant. Let's uh, just check that out. And as you can see, the other variation knobs get different assignments while the shape stays the same. Now, sometimes we'll get selectors. For example, we have patterns here in this uh, daughter's uh, TikTok, and you'll see that this is a four-way selector. And sometimes it will be three-way, and uh, maybe um, two-way. And so sometimes you'll see that the knob uh, or the variation will go from zero to 100. Sometimes it will have like the shape going um, left to right. So we have um, negative and positive values. So that's the idea. I mean, that's pretty much it. So let's go into uh, my session. Let's just play and hear how Finisher Flux sounds. Okay, so I have Finisher Flux here on this sample, which is uh, something I played and then resampled. And let's hear how it sounds in the context of the song. Let's solo this and hear it again. Right, and what I can do is I can actually go and do some automation here so I can play with that, but let's just keep that for now and let's do it manually. So I'm going to play this again. Pretty cool. And as you can see, we can select something else and we'll get different effect entirely. Let's try something else. Very cool. Now let's try Finisher Flux on a pad. So I have some very boring pad somewhere here and I wanted to get it um, a slightly more interesting. So let's try this, uh, um, this one and let's hear without.
and now width. Pretty cool. So let's try something else. Again, I can go and select the different modes here through the categories, or I can just flick through the modes in a certain category. So the, for example, we have nine out of, out of uh, 14 here. That's the mode here. And I can just go through these and go on and on. And let's try something that is more for chords. And we'll just start with this first one. And we have different patterns here, as you can see. So it's a four-way selector. So it's really uh, getting you into a creative mode. You can take any boring, any boring source and just turn it into something so much more fun and exciting. Let's try the finisher flux on drums. Very cool. So again, we can take this uh, rhythmic uh, category and try it out on our drum and see what works. And of course I can automate that. So for example, uh, we have this section here, uh, which uh, is just at the beginning. And I can show you how this sounds when I automate it. So I have this Evo pad here again, and let's hear how it sounds. So that's it. That's Finisher of Flux. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like the video, of course, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because I'm uploading new stuff every week. And leave comments. If you have any question, I'll do my best to answer you as quickly as I can. And of course, follow me in Facebook. I'm uh, very available in Facebook. You can join any of my groups there. You can contact me directly if you have anything or any question. And that's it. So I'll see you in the next videos very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.